All right, so in this lesson, AB Calculus, uh, AB, here we're talking about logistic growth. And I just want to just want to talk a little bit about what the logistic curve looks like. So here it is, as I mentioned. It's sort of like, um, it has a, a portion that kind of looks like a parabola that kind of is opening upward, and the rate of change is increasing. But then there is definitely an inflection point where it changes, concavity, and then it starts to kind of slow down and it appears to approach some sort of uh, horizontal asymptote here. So that's the logistic curve. And uh, if you see here the rate of uh, change, so what's P? Um, P, I imagine, I think it is the, should be what, population? Uh, the carrying capacity is M. Does it say that? Am I not seeing it here? Uh, where does it say that? We want, oh yeah. If we want growth rate to approach zero as P approaches a maximum carrying capacity, so P must be the population. So the, the change of the population over time, right, the carrying capacity is M. So this is sort of the, the maximum uh, amount that, that would be approached given all the conditions. This is a logistic differential equation. Okay, so when we're talking about, you know, a logistic curve or logistic growth, it's sort of this kind of shape where it increases and then it starts to uh, decrease, the increase starts to slow down, right? And then it approaches some sort of uh, you know, M value. So anyway, so let's just keep going through this here. So I give some examples there. Um, logistic growth model. Here's the general logistic uh, formula. So the population will be equal to this formula right here, where K is the growth constant. M is the carrying capacity, and A is sort of the initial uh, condition, or maybe it's initial population. Okay? All right. Now, uh, logistic regression is kind of what I wanted to go for here, I'll talk to you about. And on the calculator, I kind of have this up here, and I've, I'm at the uh, stats, and then over to calculate menu here. And if you go go kind of up, you see at the very end there's logistic, okay? So I believe this is the logistic um, regression sort of function. So we're going to test this out here and see if we can um, build this logistic uh, equation, okay? So let's let's enter this data right here, x values on the left, y values on the right. Let's just uh, give this a test. So stat, yeah, you might want to grab a calculator if you don't have one. Stat enter, we're going to clear these lists, so go up there, hit clear. Enter and go over, highlight the L2 list, the next list, hit, oops, sorry, hit clear and then enter. So those are cleared. And I'm going to go ahead and input this data. All right, so we have these plot. Let's just go over you know, this stage. So I've got these uh, values inputted. And you're going to want to go to Y equals, clear everything that's on there. I did go to the window as well, set the window parameters to just. Uh, I went from 0 to 55, so I could see all those, and then from 10,000 to 300,000, so I could see all these. The other thing you're going to want to do is second function, y equals to hit the stat plot menu there. Hit enter to turn one of these on. Turn one of those on. This is the type of graph you want. You want the points. And your x list, um, make sure those x and y lists are stated there. And then you can hit graph, and you should see this sort of thing. Okay? So let's just see if that logistic function, stat over to calculate up to D there, logistic. Let's see if we can get the calculator to uh, do this. So, so I'm going to just assume that we're going to use it the same way to calculate this regression as others. I'm also going to, I don't know if I've done this with you guys before, but you can get the calculator to calculate the regression value and put it right in. And so what you do is you hit parse over to y vars and then function and then you can choose one of the y values so i'm just going to put in the y1 then hit enter and let's see what happens thinking it's thinking oh there we go okay so here's our logistic um uh, format here so we've got c over 1 plus a times e to the power of negative bx. So let's just compare that with, um, oops, with our regression uh, function here in the text. 
So let's see if that's the same. So C is going to be, I guess, uh, M, which is carrying capacity. I like C, carrying capacity. Divided by 1 plus A. Yeah, there we go. A is the initial, um, initial population. Times E to the power of negative. Okay, power of negative. Uh, B, X. So the M and the K. Uh, so the carrying capacity and the growth constant appear to be combined here in this uh, value of B. Okay? So they've just, I guess, taken the uh, initiative here to multiply M K or B. And it should be in the Y equals already. That's good. And if we graph all that, we should get the points and a logistic graph showing up there. So look at that. That's beautiful. Okay? All right, so there you have it. Uh, if the test, if on the test you, you're in a section where you can use the calculator and it's uh, talking about logistic growth, if, if you have a question where you, you need to find a logistic regression function here, then you kind of know what's going on. So population is P, that's the Y value here. And then gather some data there. You can calculate um, population, right, at any, at any point in time, right? So what's your... So, if we're talking about T, oh, the name, yeah, X is your T, so that's time. So you can just plug a value in for time and find what the population is. If you're looking for a time when a population is at a certain uh, point, right, then what you need to do, let's say I want to know at what time the population would reach, um, you know, 200,000 then there's my y equals 200,000, and I could calculate this intersection point, right? And that, that uh, x value right here would be the time. So again, if you need a reminder to how to do that, then you can go second function calculate. 5 is intersect. It'll ask you if that's the first curve. You say, sure. Second curve, sure. Yes, please. Hit enter a third time, and there you go. So at 36, and then again, like I say, whatever this is. Values were what, what were they? Days, years, hours? What was it? Oh, years after 1950 for that equation. Okay. Okay. Here somewhere. Oh, right there, right there. Yeah, years after 1950. Okay, so so that's going to be 1986, right? Pretty much right on. Okay, good. Questions? Um, do you know the aspects of the logistic growth and sort of how to find it? calculator. That's my big thing here. So we're going to let you work with that a little bit here, give you an assignment.